Before Ezekiel Elliott was drafted into the NFL, picked fourth overall by the Dallas Cowboys. With the fourth pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Ezekiel Elliott. Before inking a four-year rookie contract with the Cowboys worth a reported $24.9 million with a $16.3 million signing bonus. AK-47 writing in a Mac. Just in case a broke boy wanna act. Just in case a broke boy wanna talk back. Just in case a broke boy wanna clap back. AK-47 writing in a nine. Just in case a young nigga losing his mind. Just in case a young nigga getting out of line. Just in case a young nigga coming for a mind. Just in case a young nigga wanna get wet like wine. Before Ezekiel was suspended from the NFL for alleged domestic violence, but managed to get that suspension put on hold indefinitely. I'll finally get a chance to, to prove my innocence and uh, just, just happy that I'm able to be with these guys for as long as it's permitted. And Ezekiel Elliott was born into an athletic family in the St. Louis suburb of Alton, Illinois. Even as a little kid, he showed promise on the football field with skills that would eventually lead him to the NFL. But along the way, he faced tough decisions and experienced a heartbreaking tragedy. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Ezekiel Elliott prior to fame. Here for you on Before They're Famous. Now, I gotta give a shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. I've covered a ton of football players in the past, like Odell Beckham Jr., Marshawn Lynch, and Colin Kaepernick. Be sure to check those out and let me know, as always, in the comments down below who you want me to document next. I was maybe kind of betraying my home state, betraying the people that have watched me my whole life, and uh, and it really kind of hurt me. Ezekiel Elijah Elliott was born on July 22, 1995, in Alton, Illinois. His father, Stacy, was a social worker. His mother, Dawn, was an accounts manager, but both had a strong background in athletics. Dawn had been a high school state champion in three sports before running track at the University of Missouri. Stacy was a four-year outside linebacker for the Missouri Tigers. On top of this, Zeke's maternal grandfather played basketball for Drake University. Drizzy! Zeke grew up on Brown Street in Alton and attended elementary school there before enrolling in a private St. Louis school. As a kid, he showed promise in all sports, but football was his favorite from the beginning. The first thing I saw was a kid with a motor that just didn't stop. Every time he touched a rock, he would take it to the house. For high school, Zeke would stay in the St. Louis private system, opting to study at the academically driven John Burroughs Prep in Ladue. There, Ezekiel was a standout track and field athlete, specializing in sprinting and hurdle events. He won four state championships in track, taking home W's for the 100 meter dash, 200 meter, 110 meter high hurdles, and the 300 meter hurdles. He was also named the Gatorade Track Athlete of the Year in the state of Missouri. On top of that, Zeke played baseball, basketball, and of course, football. As a junior, he rushed for 1,802 yards and 34 touchdowns and received 23 passes for 401 yards and 6 touchdowns. In 2012, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch named him the Offensive Player of the Year. In his senior year, he had 3,601 yards and scored 50 touchdowns. His talents on the field turned the John Burroughs Bombers around. He led the team to three straight title games, but they lost all three. I'm hurting real bad. It didn't feel good at all, and it just showed me that that's something I didn't want to go through like ever again. Coming out of high school in 2013, Scout.com ranked Ezekiel as a four-star recruit and listed him as the number nine running back in the country. He was recruited by over 40 schools, and there was tremendous pressure for him to sign with his parents' alma mater, the University of Missouri. But he opted to take his talents elsewhere. I'll be taking my talents to Columbus, to the Ohio State University. As a freshman at Ohio State University, Zeke played backup to starting running back Carlos Hyde, but still managed to rush for over 262 yards and two touchdowns, and scores only receiving touchdown in his NCAA career. The next year, Ezekiel took over as a starter for the Buckeyes. He scored 18 touchdowns, rushing for 1,878 yards and receiving for 220. But while Zeke and the Buckeyes had a lot to celebrate on the field, off the field, 
was a different matter. Gostick Hera George became one of Ezekiel's teammates for the 2014 season, and the two became fast friends. As a college athlete, Costa had suffered 15 reported concussions. After his last, he began suffering recurring headaches. One November night, after a fight with his girlfriend, he texted her a series of messages late into the night saying, I never felt this dark because I got nothing else. I am gonna kill myself. I deserve to die anyways, and all time low. He also texted his mother saying he was sorry for being a disappointment. The message woke her up and she quickly responded asking if he was okay. She did not receive a response and soon after reported her son missing. Costa missed football practice and a big game between Ohio State and the University of Michigan. He was later found in a dumpster, dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Costa's death shocked Ezekiel, he told ESPN. Our hearts dropped. It was just a hard moment for all of us. For me personally, that was my first time losing someone that I was very close with. Ezekiel was a pallbearer at Costa's funeral. To be with him, and the, you know, just before they buried him, and uh, man. Three days later, Ezekiel and the Ohio State Buckeyes will be facing off against the Wisconsin Badgers in the 2014 Big Ten Championship game. To the 50, Elliott, and he may be gone. He's to the Wisconsin 20. Touchdown, Ezekiel Elliott, 81 yards to the house. Zeke ran for 220 yards, leading Ohio State to victory and a spot in the first ever college football playoffs. Ohio would win the Sugar Bowl against Alabama, and Zeke would be named Defensive Player of the Game. In the championship game against the Oregon Ducks, he would be named MVP again and earn the third most rushing yards in Ohio State history. The Buckeyes defeated the Ducks 42-20. In the 2015 season, Zeke would receive for 206 yards and rush for 1,821 and 23 touchdowns. Touchdowns. He led the team to a victory over Michigan and ended his college career scoring four touchdowns in a Fiesta Bowl win over Notre Dame. On top of that, according to his mother, Zeke was doing it all while suffering through constant injuries, she said. He basically played with a broken wrist the entire season. He broke it on August 8th and had surgery on August 9th and re-injured it during the season. He got all those yards with one hand. Over the course of his college career, Zeke scored 44 touchdowns and 4,410 yards. He was even considered a strong contender for the Heisman Trophy. Zeke announced that he would enter the 2016 NFL Draft on November 21st, 2015. Despite being a running back, he was widely predicted to be a top 10 selection. And sure enough, with the fourth pick in the draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Ezekiel Elliott, running back, Ohio State. This is your big day! Get off the phone, man! <clears throat> anyway, the Cowboys offered Ezekiel a massive four-year, $24.9 million contract with a $16.3 million signing bonus. Going into his first NFL season, he was widely regarded as an early favorite for the 2016 Offensive Rookie of the Year. And if you're thinking of catching one of his games, I have just the place for you to get the best price on tickets. It's called SeatGeek. Boom! This is the world's largest event ticket search engine. What they do is search all the ticket prices available on the web to find the absolute best seat at the best price. SeatGeek puts out a 1 to 100 score to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad one. Green means good, red means bad. Now because you guys have all been amazing subscribers, like truthfully, you've changed my life, well, I went ahead and got you 20 bucks back when you use the promo code FAMOUS. So be sure to use it. Also, then they know I sent you there. It works for me as well. Let's the show keep rolling out smoothly. So go ahead and use it, and I'll see you yet again. Anyway, in his rookie season, Ezekiel Elliott was named the starting running back for the Dallas Cowboys, ahead of veteran players Darren McFadden and Alfred Morris. Sure enough, the faith the Cowboys put in the rookie was paid back in kind. Elliott, and he will find the end zone again. In his professional debut, Ezekiel scored a touchdown on an eight-yard run against the New York Giants and rushed for 51 yards. After the ninth game of the season, he became the second Cowboy in history to rush for more than 1,000 yards in his rookie season. He finished the season as the NFL's top rusher, recording 1,631 yards and 15 touchdowns in 15 games. He was selected as first-team All-Pro and in his first career playoff game, became the only Cowboy rookie since 1971 to rush for over 100 yards in a playoff game. But while once again he was thriving on the field, off the field, it was a whole other matter. I want Ezekiel Elliott suspended for four games for stupidity. <clears throat> 
Of course, it wasn't stupidity that Zeke was facing his suspension for. His ex-girlfriend, Tiffany Thompson, accused Zeke of committing domestic violence against her on five occasions throughout 2016. While police authorities decided not to charge him for the alleged crimes, the NFL conducted their own year-long investigation into the allegations and spurred controversy with their decision to suspend Ezekiel from the first six games of the 2017 season for violating the league's personal conduct policy. He plays for the Dallas Cowboys. He's going to be suspended six games and then he's going to go back week eight and everyone's going to be wearing his jerseys and cheering Can I ask for a question? If this is his punishment, Can it I is just a question? slap off. Zeke appealed the suspension, but it was upheld by the league appointed arbitrator on September 6, 2017. Then two days later, a federal judge basically reversed this decision by granting the NFL Players Association's request to put the suspension on hold indefinitely, which put Zeke back on the field. Ezekiel would go on to play in the Cowboys season opening game against the Giants, helping his team to secure a 19 to 3 win. As for the rest of the story, well, geez, we'll have to wait and see, or I'll update this video a year from now because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael Crud. Thanks again to Sea Geek. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. We got a whole playlist on athletes. I think there's like 300 in there. So why don't you go over there and uh, I'll check it out. See you guys in another video. Oh, I the, the grossest fart. Oh, it's bad.